Saturday, but you, you go to five. Uh, Monterey that comes with a win. Uh, but definitely, uh, there was fight by your squad. I'm sure you'd like to get that uh, victory, but uh, a lot of fight by your team. Definitely a lot of fight, and you know that was that was what we talked about afterwards was how hard we played, and we played actually very well. You know, both teams played really well on Saturday. It was a hard-fought match, and we fell just a little bit short. We had one match point. We thought we might get it, but um, losing 18-16 in the fifth hitting 462 in the fifth set, I think our team did overall, which was incredible for us, incredible for anybody really. But um, So we did everything we could, just fell a little bit short. But I was still, like I told them, very proud of the effort. Is it, you know, the start of the season, the first couple months, so you guys enjoyed some uh, some very good success, and now a conference play, heading to the final month, and, you know, through three losses now, how, how frustrating is that? It's frustrating, um, it's disappointing, especially with some of these close losses that we've had, you know. Um, but we just keep concentrating on the focus of this season, which is to develop and grow. It doesn't mean that we don't want to win. You know, we want to win every time we get out there. But um, right now I'm really working on keeping the morale high with the girls with some of these disappointing losses that we've had recently. Um, at this point of the season where you have a couple weeks left, um, new coach, new players, um, do you feel like the expectations, obviously, uh, you, you know, you want to win out there, but is this kind of like what you, what you expected to this point? You know, I, I would say that our expectations for ourselves have not been, have not been reached. You know, everyone keeps telling me, oh my gosh, you guys are doing great, and the expectation, you got, you like overachieved and all this kind of, of thing, but, um, you know, our personal feeling for our, the girls on the team and the coaching staff, we feel like we could have done better, you know, and so, yeah, there's some frustration, but like I said, as long as we keep getting out there and, and you know, battling and competing every night, we're, we're, we're okay with that. We're satisfied to a point, you know, I mean, we would, like I said earlier, we definitely would like to be, you know, winning some of those close matches that we've lost recently, but, um, you know, I don't know, there's definitely some frustration happening, but, you know, I'm not sure what exactly I expected at this point in the season for this team. When we got off to the good start in the preseason, we got really optimistic, but the competition level wasn't quite as high as what we were going to be facing in conference, and we knew that, you know, but um, we're still proud of the effort overall. So you guys, uh, look at the schedule uh, on the road this week uh, at San Diego, at San Bernardino. Pretty uh, a tough road trip, but let's start off with uh, San Diego. Yeah, well, well, both teams are really tough. They're really solid, you know, and they're a little bit more experienced. And I think that's kind of been basically what it's been coming down to in the end is um, is the experience level of this team is just not quite get good enough to be able to get us over the hump right there in the end when it gets down to that fifth set. You know, and that's what we're going to be facing this weekend is a couple of, uh, you know, more veteran teams probably playing with a little bit more swagger, a little bit more confidence than our Jacks are playing with right now, and um, but we're gonna we're, we haven't concentrated at all on the level of the opponent that we're going up against this weekend. We we figured it out that every single night, no matter what place the team is that we're going up against, they're good, <laughs> and it's gonna be a challenge. So our girls are always ready for the challenge. Um, my last question: We kind of talked about that uh, the flu bug and everything else, but. Uh, Health-wise and sickness-wise, uh, how, how do you guys stand with that right now? We're actually quite healthy right now. Uh, we had one girl sick last weekend, Alex Hausenstab, and she had the best match of her, of her season. So we recommended to her yesterday at practice to stay right where you're at. You know, you, you, sometimes you kind of get sick and your focus increases, or maybe you, you know, I don't know what happens, but sometimes athletes really step up when they're not feeling as well. And she had a great match on Saturday against Monterey. So, but overall, the health of the team is actually quite good. Yeah. Uh, Coach, I really liked uh, the effort you put on Saturday, especially, again, uh, you, the, you didn't play the game you wanted to on Thursday, but right. you came back on Saturday and wasn't the result you wanted, but still, you, you were down in the fourth set, bounced right back, and almost took the fifth set. So what, what type of growth have you seen in this team to be able to respond to that type of adversity that, that may, they may not have been able to at the beginning of the season? Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that, that right there shows a little sign of some growth that we've made. You know, Thursday they didn't play well. We had a bad night on Thursday night against Cal State East Bay. And, you know, we talked about it briefly on practice. Had a light practice on Friday and basically just moved on from there. And the girls are, they're not, they're not okay after a match like Thursday night's match. You know, they're not, they're, they're hard on themselves just as hard as I am on them. 
you know, and they wanted to come back strong on Saturday, and they knew we didn't play well last time we played Monterey, when we played them at their place in late September. So they felt like they had something to prove, and they came out and played hard, played well, and just fell short.